It is on, it is on. Hello, everyone. Hello. Uh, welcome to BIOCO, welcome to uh, Prague Shorts Festival, welcome to Young Academy Forum. Uh, I'm really glad we can meet in person here, uh, physically. Uh, although you could have stayed at home today, we would do that uh, online, this talk, through Zoom or whatever platform. And uh, one uh, fine gentleman standing over there would do a nice TV show out of it. Uh, we're going to be talking about calls, uh, actually three TV shows, or one short film and two TV, TV shows. Uh, if you look it up uh, in uh, International Movie Database uh, or uh, Czechoslovak Film Database, you would find three uh, titles or three uh, pieces called Calls. Uh, one is from 2016, which was the short film made by uh, Timothy Oshet, uh, directed by Timothy Oshet, and uh, actually you would find the name even uh, among the, uh, the actors as uh, one of the main characters. Uh, the other one, would be 2017, if I'm not mistaken, uh, the Canal Plus uh, TV show uh, that would be made by Timothy Oshet, directed by Timothy Oshet. There's no actor called Timothy Oshet, but that's not, there, there were quite good names, uh, even though. And uh, the last one, which is very interesting, is a TV show uh, adapted by Apple TV. Uh, you would find the name Timothy Oshet uh, uh, between the titles as, as the author of the original story, yet uh, there will be another director. Yet it is one thing you will see uh, today, a short, uh, short part of the, of the TV show. And uh, I'm really glad we have uh, this fine gentleman, which I mentioned like, I don't know, 17 times already. Timothy Oshet, Tim, please come on the stage. Welcome uh, to Prague Shorts Festival. Uh, we, we're gonna sit probably. Before we get to it, we have quite a long time, longer than the original uh, short movie. So j just l allow me a quick research. Uh, how many of you have seen any, uh, or at least one of the calls, uh, either TV shows or, or shoot, short movie? Hands up. Ellen is not counting, she's a girlfriend, hello. <laughs> uh, okay, so I've seen like two or three hands. Okay, so, uh, before we start, if you, if you, if you don't mind, we would, we, I think we uh, should play uh, the clip uh, you prepared. So please run the calls. Uh, let's say I don't know how to say it. It's, uh, yeah, I, I just um, <laughs> just a precision. So we, what we are going to uh, hi, uh, what we are going to to see is um, a montage of uh, the three version of calls. So there is indeed the original short film. Uh, that I uh, did uh, on YouTube, uh, then the Canal Plus show, and then the Apple TV Plus show. Uh, basically, the first episode was the same each uh, in each version, but with you will see small differences. So what you will see is a montage of the three version. So it's a uh, it's a bit like a, uh, it's it's not perfect to follow the story, but uh, it's it I think interesting actually. for what we are going to talk about. Okay, so, yeah. so let's have the movie, please. Oui, bref. 
Tu vas bien Ça va et toi Tout se passe bien à New York Yes, everything is great Bon, cool. Et toi, à Paris Moi, toujours pareil, toujours pareil. Euh... Cool. T'as vu les infos Les témoignages, là Vous les avez aussi allés, là Ouais, c'est bizarre, putain. Ça me fait flipper. Hein. Ouais, t'inquiète, c'est, c'est comme 2012, ça va passer. Mmh. Je peux te parler de quelque chose mmh Je peux te poser une question Ouais. Qu'est-ce que tu penses de notre, de notre situation en ce moment Comment ça Bah, t'es à New York, je suis à Paris, ça fait 5 mois qu'on s'est pas vu. Genre... Oui, on va tenir, ok C'est pas facile, mais on le savait à la base, hein. On a choisi de rester ensemble, on va rester ensemble. Mais, t'as pas l'air épanoui. Ah, Tom, on se voit plus, donc forcément c'est pas la joie. Ah. Mais je vais bientôt pouvoir revenir. On va se voir, ça ira comme avant. T'as dit quoi Je t'ai pas entendu ça, là. Tout va redevenir comme avant. Tu vois que je te rends Non, je t'entends mal. Ouais, je t'ai perdu. Lucie T'as vu quelqu'un dans ton jardin J'ai vu quelqu'un dans mon jardin, je suis passée par le salon et il y, avait, il y avait une silhouette à travers la fenêtre, je crois. Mais que, comme il pleut, je me suis cassé direct, j'ai rien vu. Attends, comment le... Quel genre de silhouette Mais je sais pas, putain. Il sait quoi Mais je sais pas, j'ai, j'ai pas eu le temps de voir, je te dis. Appelle les flics. Tu crois Bah franchement, ouais, on sait jamais, non ouais, Tu okay. me rappelles après, ok Ouais. Tu me rappelles hein Ouais, ouais, je te rappelle. Ok. Alors Attends, je, je peux te rappeler, elle a appelé les flics. Quoi Pourquoi elle a appelé les flics Bah il y a quelqu'un dans son jardin, apparemment. Comment ça Je sais pas alors, je... Oh ah, putain, tu lui as dit pour... Euh... Bah, elle va rester avec moi. Ok, il va falloir lui dire en fait. Je sais, je sais, je sais. Je... Mm. Mais je, j'aime pas dire ça au téléphone, tu peux comprendre Bah ouais, mais euh, mm. moi j'ai pas envie d'attendre qu'elle revienne pour que tu lui dises. Mm. J'ai envie d'être avec toi sans qu'elle te harcèle de SMS toute la journée. Je sais, Laura, je sais. Ok. Euh, bah les parents du gosse se rendent vers minuit. Ah, euh... Ça te dérange pas si je t'attends pas pour la mère non, ça me dérange pas, ok, il va te coucher, je te vois, ouais. Merci. Tu me tiens encore pour Lucie, j'espère que c'est rien. Ok, ça va. Mm. Bon, allez, bisous. Je t'aime. Moi aussi, je t'aime. Bisous. 911, what's your Approaching. 
So how did you like that? That's actual question, please answer anybody. Very intensive. It is, it is. In a way confusing, I don't know what's going on. I want to know more. I'm curious. Yeah, the, the true ver version doesn't help because we, you, 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 you don't know if that's cut out or if that's, so in the, in the full version that's a little bit clearer but uh, the main idea was to play with mystery uh, on calls. So you have this feeling that something is going on. You have this story, uh, this love and cheating story that uh, that you can follow through the what seems to be an apocalypse. Uh, and uh, yeah, there, 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 there is a whole for the French version. There is three season to 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 try to catch on and to understand what 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 happened because every episode on the show is in independent so you have to it's um every episode is a story but if you uh, can link uh, details to one episode to the other episode you can try to understand and what was really cool was that i didn't uh, bring it, but was the fans really like um, did um, um, how do you say drawings with every connection, and it was a big, big thing. Uh, like they they really tried to understand the whole picture by linking every episode between them. That was one of the really cool parts of uh, of making calls uh, because uh, of this. Uh, yeah, there's the, the, what. What the fans did with the with the show, it was really cool. Hashtag what the fuck is going on? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, at the end of the original uh, short film, you had this j just uh, short line like, let me know your first thoughts. Did you get a lot of reactions? Yeah, that's that was the idea because I, I, at the time I didn't want to, to make it a, a, t a TV show. It was just one short film. And uh, what I wanted is to have uh, theories from the, the fans and maybe drawings, maybe just what do you think happened? And that was interesting. I, 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 I even for the show sometimes picked up uh, some things that fans uh, w would, uh, would create and I was like, oh, that's not a bad idea. It's a good creative yeah. way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I took all the credit and went, okay. <laughs> Uh, but uh, no, no, that 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 was yeah, pretty pretty cool, and also yeah, a lot of um, drawings and uh, about uh, what's happening in the end, what they see in the sky. Um, so yeah, I guess we're all interested in how the cooperation with Apple goes. But first, uh, tell me, how did you come up with the with the uh, with the storytelling? You know, it's unusual to to use only uh, the voice uh, not almost any visual how, how, how did you come up with that um so it was in in 2016 uh i just wanted i i love the horror movies i love the um when a, a movie doesn't tell you all of the answers right, right away and just even when it's over you have to think about it and and you know, like David Lynch, uh, Lost Highway, or that was one of my first bl mind blown uh, movies where I couldn't sleep at night because I, I tried to understand it. And I was like, okay, that's, that makes no sense. Maybe if I see it today, it, it would be much more logical. But uh, yeah, that, that, that was, there was two points like this, just loving horror genre. Uh, wanted to play with imagination because I, I thought at the time that uh, everything was given on the plate. You, you know, the, everything, every answer was given too easily, and I loved when I was challenged. So I wanted to do that. And the third one was just one night. I don't know why I spent an evening listening to 911 calls uh, in the U.S. and uh, especially. Uh, for 9-11, so that was not fun, but it was interesting in terms of quality, in terms of what what I felt during these calls, 
that were really terrifying for I, I, I watched a lot of horror movies and never I felt like this uh, the feeling in front of these calls were, were new to me uh, because it was real too but there was something in the quality you know the the bad quality and the silences that was the most terrifying um, sur surprisingly I, I, I was really scared when there were no uh, nothing really distinctively uh, um, audible and so uh, yeah that, that, that was the three three ideas that I I told myself okay let's do a short movie a horror movie without any images and it's only phone calls there is also Toki Walkie but it's it was the idea like fun footage no images um, I loved Blair Witch so I was like okay Blair Witch we don't see anything and that's what scares uh, most people so I, I, I wanted to do that and I I just did it without any expectation because I had like a, a YouTube channel where sometimes I, I was I was putting some short movies uh, and uh, yeah this one was made in eight months because I didn't believe the it would have a success so I just did it whenever I had time with a friend um, and that's why I play the main role in the original because I didn't want to ask ask someone you know to to see it, it was such a, a timing um, issue for the first one because um, we no actors ever met on this one I did I don't even know the faces of some actors in the short film so it was made through the phone yeah it was made through phone i just uh, sent them the script and they uh, sent me uh, like uh, a bad quality uh, <laughs> form <laughs> file and and that was in the movie and uh, and so yeah we we had to create the rhythm of the dialogue uh, because there were there were no exchange uh, that we changed of course with the tv show uh, yeah, because yeah. it was not possible to just do the whole tv show like this so um, so yeah that that was yeah, uh, yeah. how we did it uh, yesterday you told me that uh, you got quite a lot of reactions that the people actually thought it's real like that it's a real recording of some phone calls yeah because this one is is quite uh, fan fantastic paranormal but there are some episodes that are more that are more realistic in the TV show. So yeah, some people thought it, it was real, and 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 that's a great compliment that I take because it's it, it was uh, one of the things that I wanted to do. If if you just zap uh, from uh, put in a, in a channel and, and calls uh, is on, you don't even know what's that. You don't know if it's real. So. Yeah, it it means we succeed, we succeeded at the um, at uh, at making something authentic, I think, and it's because of the act actors also because they they really were in condition to to have real feelings uh, on the on the set of calls. I think the great sign of your success was that the Canal Plus first uh, took your idea and then. Apple TV uh, also wanted to do uh, your story. So, how was your first reaction when, when when someone called and told you, "Okay, Tim, we're gonna do that for Apple TV"? Well, that that was that took me years to really understand what was going on. That was fun um, because that was my first um, professional project because before I did uh, some short films but uh, some produced but nothing too big so that was my first like real project and uh, it was three months af after season one was released um, I had uh, just a mail um, an email from uh, Ariel Sarako which is a creative director on Canal Plus um, which who told me just like simply Americans want to do uh, a version of your show. Do you want, do you want to go to Los Angeles uh, in two weeks? And I, I sent her back, just answering like, do you do you want to me to go to Los Angeles in two weeks? I don't understand. She was yes, it's Apple. And at the time, Apple didn't have any um, 
uh, platforms. Uh, so uh, it, uh, Apple TV Plus d didn't exist. So uh, I didn't quite get it. I was like, what they want to make to 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 put it on, on iTunes? I don't I don't know what's going on. So uh, so yeah, they they. I actually, they bought Apple bought um, people. They buy people. Uh, they bought uh, the, the 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 man who uh, developed uh, dev developed uh, at the time Breaking Bad, uh, Lost, and uh, they were like big producer. And they were the one that that, they, that were in charge of uh, of finding new uh, new 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 shows. So they liked calls. Because apparently Canal Plus does like every year they 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 they, they send TV shows that are uh, theirs and just to international to see yeah. if uh, anyone wants to make to uh, see what's stuck. Yeah. yeah. So so Apple uh, was uh, were the one and uh, yeah it was weird it was such a weird feeling and uh, because it was until the end until March twenty twenty one. Um, where the show uh, had the American show had, I wasn't sure it was going to make it. So, like in, when I heard it, it was in 2019, and uh, so for three years I was uh, I was like, no, that's not going to happen. And then it happened. It was it was fun. Just imagine like how fast the the scene has changed that in 2018, 19. We didn't know if Apple will do some platform or not. Uh, right now we have how many? Like three, four huge platforms. I'm a Netflix guy. I don't watch Apple. So sorry, I had to steal it uh, somewhere from Torrent or whatever. But yeah, <laughs> <laughs> don't don't tell, please. Uh, <laughs> but uh, how much of like how much of the control actually had you while the the Apple TV calls was was made. Like, did they let you do anything? Because like at the at the end, Fede Alvarez was was directing mm -hmm. the the, uh, the TV show. Um, first, they wanted uh, us because I I didn't write um, calls alone. They wanted us to uh, write the first season of the US calls. Um, basically, they they wanted to take the second season of calls uh, and make them. The, the, them the first, so that was a weird, weird idea, but uh, that was their idea to okay, you you're gonna write the second French season, and at the same time you are writing the first U.S. season, so that was the idea, but it didn't work out because uh, our season were, were was too dark. It was because they had at the time they had um, um, censorship uh, like uh, no religion. So that was uh, bad for calls because season one is basically inspired by biblical apocalypse. So no, re no religion is no not really a cult. And there were like uh, many things like uh, no children harm and so okay. Well, um, but uh, yeah, it was too dark for them. So they let us uh, go. Uh, they contacted uh, a first the first uh, man, Michael Green, who was a screenwriter, and it didn't work out. So Michael Green uh, sent uh, someone that they that he knew, and then it was a man named Dress Fisher, and it was really cool. They did ten episodes of uh, the writing, uh, and he he called me. Uh, I went to Hollywood to write with them. So it was like crazy experiment. He wanted me to direct some episodes. So it was like too good to be real. And indeed it was because uh, at the end, Apple just uh, said uh, no. Um, and we don't know why today. We, we don't really know why it, it, it happens. Like I, I told my dress uh, who was a showrunner I asked him, uh, I, uh, he was not really surprised, but he worked eight weeks on this show and it was he, he, it was not, not a surprise to, to have the show cancelled. So I was like, what, how, how are, you, are you not angry uh, at them? And he was like, what? That's Hollywood. 
you work for several years on a show and it's it's not done and because there there were like feedbacks it was just it was not just work uh, alone on the, on a TV show for eight weeks and it turns out that they they don't like it no they liked it until the last minute so that's what that's what's weird for me but it's Hollywood apparently so yeah that was it and then the project was just in a in a locker room <laughs> just uh, locked down and 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 no one heard for from it then covid happened lockdown happened and apple was like hey there is a show that we can uh, shoot without any shooting because the actors can be at home and we are just gonna call them and we are just gonna shoot uh, through everyone is at home so it's covid friendly so uh, they wrote it uh, wrote it in, in three months, three or four months, I think, with Fede, Fede Alvarez, and some uh, other authors. And uh, yeah, it went like that. And so in, on this version, I didn't had any, uh, any input. Uh, the, the first episode was based on the script. Uh, yeah, it was pretty much the same. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but uh, after that, they did, um, they did their episode, and there are some great ones, uh, and I, it's not a copy of the French season, which is cool, I think, because it's it's uh, it's new scripts, it's new ideas, and it's uh, American uh, scripts. So it's 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 not the culture, so it's not it's all the fears, all, all the uh, feelings about yeah. what's what's scary for them. So it was, I think, it was interesting, but I didn't have pretty much anything to do with the last version. There's quite a lot of interesting names in the in the American version. For example, Pedro Pascal. I still imagine like him sitting uh, on the couch and calling yeah. like, "Hey." <laughs> yeah, that's that. That must have been <laughs> that. Pretty simple. Yeah. Uh, how did you like that actually? Like you you you've already said that it's quite different uh, from from the French version. But how did you like their ideas? Um, well, if we go into the details, I I I. I because we, I'm gonna talk about things that are happening in the season, so I don't know if that's really interesting, but basically in the global, uh, I, I think it's pretty good. I think they didn't like uh, crush the soul of calls, which is uh, weird calls and uh, just uh, bad quality. I think it's, it's good. They did a lot of visual uh, sometimes I, see, I think it's too much, but sometimes I think it, I think it's cool. I think the ending of the the episode is pretty cool, like the, the one we just saw. But some, yeah, uh, and it's a lot. It's American, you know. It's uh, the, the screen must be full of colors all the time, and uh, that's actually I, I I quite like it sometimes. Yeah. But uh, yeah, despite that, I. Just the fact that uh, there are uh, maybe a li little bit less in the mystery uh, than the French version. Uh, for the US version, everything had an expla explanation uh, at the end of season one. So there is a lot of talk, a lot of... Um, uh, yeah, th there are some episodes that are 20 minutes long and it's just talks and scientific explanation that I... I it's not my my my, my type of uh, of TV shows, but um, I think it's it's good. I think they 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 did it with passion, and um, at at the end, it's uh, uh, the the critics are are good on the net, so I think people like it. So yeah, I think it's I think it's good. It's so, different. I don't I don't want to be. I I I would have been frustrated if it was amazing for me you know i would have said oh fuck i, I, I would have loved to work on that but here it's good it's a it's another product it's another show but it's a it's a great honor to to have uh, your own name yeah in the it's, it's, it's the first time apple uh, worked with uh, uh, European story like that. It, well, first time they picked up uh, something like that. So I guess it is. It is a good uh, line in your CV. Like yeah. you know, they, 
they did it based on my story. <laughs> yeah, that helps a lot today. How, how can you maybe? I, I know it's it's uh, it's uh, uh, quite a huge, like a broad question, but how did the work with uh, with Apple, so, like from from the from from the first uh, let's say uh, version or first yeah. first uh, part of of uh, the production? How how was it different from working with uh, Canopus, the French uh, producer? Well, everything is 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 quite different there because they. In France, uh, we don't really have like writers' room, um, which is a huge thing in America. So just a bunch of people every day in during eight weeks that are in a in a place with a, um, you know whiteboard and and everything is written on the walls and it's really well organized. It's really like uh, it's it's. It's great because I loved it personally because I, I, everyone is listening to everyone, which was a huge uh, shock for me uh, because uh, in France in the in the little I, I I did some experience in writers' room but they were like not really writers but everyone is 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 just yelling to ideas and uh, in the US everyone was listening that was really interesting like there, there, there is a mutual respect between the writers uh, that's it that's not in the ego you know that's that's just if you don't like an idea you you can tell easily someone and it, it, it will not be it's it, it work it's work for them it's just it's just like anything else, you know. They write to live, and they, they, and they, there is an artistic ver part of it, of course. But uh, it's not a big thing to write there, especially in Hollywood. Everyone has a story um, with cinema. So even like the first taxi that I took uh, to go to Hollywood, it was a crazy story about how. She, the, the driver almost did a movie with Denzel Washington, and <laughs> it was crazy. Everyone has a story uh, of, of of cinema there, so it's quite normal to to work on that. And um, and yeah, they are much more efficient, much more you know. Um, it, it, it sounds easy to to write almost for them. They are so talented and. And everyone comes from a different culture. There is also that in the U.S. The writers' room was um, made to to have different people from different cultures. To it was like a, a duty for them to have some people from there, from there, from there, and um, yeah, equality in terms of of genders, in terms of where are you from. So it was in interesting because. Yeah, in France, we 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 can't uh, we don't really um, how to say we don't really we just write between people that want to write, and that's it because there was there is not a lot of people. It's a closed team. Yeah, working yeah, yeah. Together. yeah. It's friends. It's uh, you know who do you want to to work with, and uh, and uh, it's almost always friends. So. So there, the, 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 there was a, yeah, a work aspect, like when it's done at uh, 6 p.m. It's done, you and you can you you, you, come, you come back the, the next morning, but you don't ask any messages of uh, do you work at night or no. <laughs> but it first yes, it first is it's a, uh, it's more maybe more uh, a passion thing that. Uh, that uh, we n we need to fight in, in 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 Europe maybe to to get uh, to have some something to show and uh, to to create something we 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 need to work uh, day and night because there are not a lot of opportunities in America uh, like the, the, when the show was cancelled it was not a big thing it was just okay we we will will work on something else. And that's interesting. I, 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 actually, I, I think I like that uh, that energy. Yeah. So, so w w what uh, would you say uh, there was something you, you've learned from the experience with with Apple to be 
prepared to, 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 let's say, to respect some other's um, uh, opinions and to be prepared to be cancelled any time? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I think the, the second part, because I, 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 the respect, I... I, I knew the, 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 this uh, the thing, so uh, but yes, yeah, to be cancelled at, at any time that's that's a good thing, and to know that what you are working on uh, can easily be erased. Uh, so that's that's a that's quite a bummer when you think about it. But uh, actually, uh, it's not because you write for something that maybe is not going to happen that you don't find. Uh, some great I ideas that you can uh, use for for another show for another short movie and uh, yeah the, um, also the collaborative uh, uh, effect the, the group effect you know of a, of a writer's room um, I, I had issues with that before uh, the Hollywood experience experience and now I I, I enjoy it I, I think it, it, it it's just about the people who are around the table. But yeah, the, the, the fact that it's okay to, 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 to work, on, work on something and not, n not having the final product is okay. Yeah. So that was the, the main lesson, I think. Have you uh, the chance to, to, move, to meet with uh, Fede Alvarez? And talk talk to him about the show. Uh, I didn't. I didn't. Uh, I had. Uh, well, he after the show was released, he sent me an email to. He just uh, said uh, thank you and uh, if you want to meet uh, on Zoom, I said yeah, let's meet on Zoom. No response. So I'm still waiting. He has but, the uh, Zoom opened on the yeah. computer. <laughs> yeah, that's right. There is, I'm ready. I'm ready. Uh, so yeah, um, I, I would love to because actually I love his work. So I, I love the his Evil Dead and um, and uh, yeah. What was his his other? Wall? I, I I don't remember. Yeah. Don't breathe. Don't breathe. We were talking quite for quite a long time. If you have any questions. Just, just, just uh, give us a sign. We will do, or we can do a, a short Q and A uh, at the end. But if you're interested uh, in something, just, just wave at me. It, I'm a little bit blinded by this, by the uh, lights, but uh, I will get to it if, if, if you have uh, any questions. Uh, we, we talked about how the American version was done due to COVID. Uh, by the way, uh, uh, you were obviously were a visionary, you know, to create a TV show made by just by phones. That's that's <laughs> good way out. Good, good, good uh, yeah, that was a good timing. Yeah, good timing. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but uh, if I'm not mistaken, like when doing the French version, you were not doing it on the phone, like not all the time, or like, yeah. like, like not not from there, from just one studio or one place. You were actually shooting. Like a normal movie with the, with the camera, but there was no camera. Yeah, exactly. We we didn't want it to 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 do uh, it on uh, on studios, uh, so uh, I have a few images I think from the shoot. Further, um, we'll wait if, if you wait. just joking. <laughs> so basically, what we did. Um, so sometimes like this, we uh, were on studios. Uh, but we use the studio just as a um, location, you, like any other location. Like you said, it was a normal shoot, but without any camera. We didn't want um, voice actors. We didn't want uh, people who were uh, used to uh, dubbing. Uh, we wanted um, cinema actors. So we had a great casting for, for friends uh, with, uh, with uh, movie stars. And uh, it was interesting for them because um, they didn't have to like uh, be on a spot on the camera on, for the light, and they w they were free to move anywhere w they wanted. And we did um, sometimes the actors like here uh, even recorded the, the, the themselves. So we because in the script there were ghost hunters. Uh, for example, there were ghost hunters who. 
we had to record every sound that they, they were um, hearing. So the actors were, were really uh, recording with their um, with, a, with a microphone, and uh, so they had the like we were on a house and we had. So it was a big house, and we had some events prepared for them, like a, a prank, a ghost prank, uh, where we, we, we wanted to, to, to scare them and to have real reaction. And because they are alone in the house, and we are just waiting uh, in the dark uh, and hearing all, uh, all of the things that they are doing, they really f they are really feeling the, the the emotion and the action. So that was a big thing for me for calls is to give the actors a real experiment and not just to do it in a studio. So if, uh, for example, we had to to do an episode on a cave, we went uh, really on a cave. So under on underground. So that that was pretty cool to. A, a cool experiment for the crew and for the actors, and uh, yeah, real sensation, real emotion. Yeah, That's, and sometimes we did um, some special things where we couldn't um, shoot on real location. Like there is an episode underwater, and there is an episode uh, in space. We tried, but we couldn't. Um, we had to recreate the, these uh, spaces in uh, in uh, in, yeah. in a studio, and there was one episode, uh, for example, in a plane. A plane w would crash. So, with a sound di editor, we recreated the sound of a plane crash, and like on this photo, we were putting really loud sound of the plane crash to for, for, for them to and we leave them alone and they are really shooting uh, we are really re recording it on the phone and so they had they have to f to feel the action and they have to to really uh, be they, they can close their eyes and 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 try to imagine imagine they are really uh, in 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 a plane crash how, how the actors were reacting? Like I can imagine that some of them would be relieved that there's not the camera always pointed at them. But uh, I don't know. For for some of some of them, it might be I don't know, a little bit strange to act, but not to act. You know, like with, the, with yeah. their face expression. And I was scared of that, uh, but uh, actually everyone was relieved uh, to 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 feel the freedom of of it because they they. They are so used to be controlled of every step they are making that to tell them you can do anything, it's, it's really cool for them. And uh, sometimes we are cheating so much. For, for example, this uh, one was um, a, a man inside a car during the storm. And uh, so we had to feel the rain on the car so we just have this guy with just a little bit of water on the on the car, and he has to to believe that he is at, at night uh, with the storm uh, outside. And so we had fun like like that to to try to recreate some 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 moods, and um, and yeah, it was really interesting because the actor were so 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 good um, with that. Uh, with that just immersion, which is a little bit cheap, actually. It was just sometimes just a light and uh, yeah. just to, to put them in the dark and it, w it would work. It's, it's actually pretty cool. I, I'm a radio guy, so I really love the, the radio shows, you know, uh, and there's a lot of techniques like to, to create the atmosphere, to create all the noises and, you know, the, uh, the, the guys like doing the storm with some metal plane and just, just banging the plane or whatever. It's, it's pretty, pretty close to that, actually. Yeah, totally. We, of course, we, uh, we are working a lot on post-production, too, because we have to recreate a lot of things. But just what we could do in real, we, we, we did. And this is a, um, a wedding, for example. Yeah, yeah. 
it it's it's not like any wedding it's just a shitty wedding but uh, it's a wedding for them and there is like the priest and uh, <laughs> the couple and that's it so it was not much for them but it, it, it's always fun to to, to just try and uh, we did a show uh, we did a, um, an episode in a car with a car crash uh, we um, so it's a um, one shot uh, episode so we had to record um, the, 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 the episode in the car while uh, driving so this was the actor and uh, someone was uh, driving yeah, and yeah. we we he in the story he is the only driver but we wouldn't like make an actor drive and act at the same time it's too dangerous and so we did one shot and then there is a car crash uh, so that we cut out but we did the car crash in real we, we really crashed the car to have the sound uh, that we wanted and so we um, we just uh, how to say we are just ready to shoot it and uh, everyone is ready it's one shot only yeah. because uh, we have only the, bu the budget for one car crash and um, what was funny is that the car goes by really i don't have any images uh, but the, the car goes by really really fast and there is like a little um, trampoline I, I don't know how to say for the car to the car to roll down roll yeah. down roll down because we i wanted to 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 have um, a barrel uh, i don't know how to say yeah up and down yeah turning, yeah and um and it's done and i look at the sound guy and he's like shit he didn't rec record it no recording was done on this car, car crash so we had to redo everything in post-production because there was like a miscommunication problem and uh, yeah the, the crash wasn't uh, recorded so uh, yeah it's we, we we kind of because everyone was filming so we kind of took the sound of the f f iphone that we were filming but it wasn't good so um, because i wanted to know what a, f a car crash sounds like from inside you know it would have been interesting but <laughs> We couldn't you know don't take it personally but i'm still really amazed that the producers give you uh, money for basically doing this for a podcast actually yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was crazy but uh, they they it was a part of uh, what canal plus wanted it's it's um, it, it was just not it, it's n it wasn't gonna be just a podcast I know, actually I know, I know. and uh, and uh, they wanted that too so when I I, I told them I, I want to do a, a real car crash I didn't believe it one second that they would said yes but they said <laughs> okay I was okay <laughs> let's do that are you sure but uh, they we did and we failed yeah you have just one shot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how how was it for you as a director to work uh, on on set? Because like you know, you, there's always the director is looking at the screen and you know he's he's uh, choosing the right angle and oh no, you 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 didn't do it properly. But with like when working like you did, you had to listen carefully. Did you have your your eyes closed or like how, how did you? Yeah, I, I always that? closed my eyes. Yeah. Um, because I didn't want it to know what they were really doing and so yeah I, I, I the one I prefer is is uh, the one where there is like um, movement uh, in the room or in the house so you know it's a long shot maybe 10 minutes sh long shot and I'm, I'm just leaving the actors al alone and uh, I'm just listening uh, like if uh, I was listening to the episode actually yeah. because sometimes there are there are not a lot of post-production um, uh, work to do when everything is on set so um, so for this one for for the car for example I I just had to close my eyes and uh, because if I open my eyes I'm just too scared if any any car are coming or uh, is it, everything is is good uh, and uh, so just to focus on the story 
uh, yeah, just my eyes. That must have been a crazy situation when you open your eyes and you see the sound guy. It was like, <laughs> yeah. No. yeah, but I felt it. Like when the everyone felt it when the car goes went by. Everyone was like, oh, we were not ready. Okay. <laughs> uh, sorry, I forgot the question. I had the question. Whatever. Uh, yeah, how how much did you how much did you reshoot actually? Like how how many times had, did you make them to to redo the scene? Um, for it depends on the episodes, but um, what's good uh, on a shot of colors is that we have time because okay. uh, time is where is is always a matter of camera and lighting. So when it's only sound, we really have time to, to do several shots. So I don't know for for the car, so the car episode, I think we did like maybe 10, uh, 10 shots, uh, 10 or 12 shots for before it was uh, it was all good. And uh, actually in, in, the, in the editing, we mixed uh, a lot of shots to make like oh, yeah. there's more one. possibilities to work with different shots than yeah with, than with the, with yeah the there is much more possibilities than in video because you um, s yeah you don't have to 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 you don't have to, to the, the image to be synchronized with the sound so you can really use even um, a, a sentence that was really not supposed to be here and put yeah. it down yeah, you can do anything you want, but like in it podcast and like in uh, in radio, so yeah, it's a freedom. It's a pretty good freedom. Sorry, just a short personal input because I used to work in in the Czech radio as a, as a reporter, and this is the first time I can talk with, about this way of working with the film guy because usually, and even though right now I'm doing the podcast, and when we do the video version, it's always like. Oh, you have to do it on first take, and you cannot cut too much because it's, it's difficult with the with the image. And here you're sitting with the movie guy, uh, talking about how we can, how we can post -pro in, in post production use all the takes. It's it's really a different type of, of working uh, with different layers. You can combine the sounds, the ambient. It, it, it's even with, with the ambient sounds, it's really different. Yeah. yeah, it's cool. It's cool. That's the way of movie making I I really like. Uh, we're gonna get to your your current work. Actually, you've uh, just finished your uh, your feature. Actually, it's, it's yeah, a feature yeah. film. Uh, before we get to that, like, is there anything you you've you've took from this this experience of doing the the course uh, TV show, uh, working with the sound? Actually, uh, do you feel that it helped you uh, in in your in your future career that you will? Uh, look at the sound uh, differently. Uh, yeah, totally. Because I, uh, I wanted with calls to 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 show that we can we don't have we don't need images to be graphic. We don't have images to to make to, an atmosphere. To, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and uh, and that's one of of the point that I wanted to 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 make. And so I, I yeah, totally. I just don't walk. Uh, the same in the same way that I did, because I know that some things can be told by sound and some uh, just can't. So I prefer when he, what's what was difficult with cause is that I really like the silences and the looks and everything that can be told through that, through just someone looking at someone. So with calls we didn't have that. Um, so what we did is, is that I, for me, the, the, the looks uh, in calls were the silences. So I, I, I just enjoyed to play with with that, and that stayed uh, with uh, the way of shooting uh, uh, a normal uh, uh, feature film or just a short movie. That was um, yeah. You don't have to overload uh, um, just to put too much sound too much visual too much uh, actually he, he didn't really taught me to to add more songs to tell a story but to remove sometimes and um, yeah I think I prefer just someone silent than someone who needs to 
really say the emotion, say the... Basically, it was, okay, now I want to, in the writing process, to learn how to tell something without telling uh, something. Uh, because that was the hard part and in, in calls to just put emotions without uh, saying, uh, oh, I'm sad, you know. So uh, that's, that's how do you do that? And uh, I know I, I just love images because of calls because I, I, we can tell a lot of things um, without, without any dialogue. So yeah, that was like an invert uh, um, listen that... Uh, yeah, that was. Uh... Okay, guys, uh, we have some time for your questions if you have any. The first row is desperate because that's the only row I can see yet. But uh, back there, you can ask anything you want. May I ask you, uh, as it was for the course, as it was your original idea, uh, did you get paid for the idea from the Apple? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I was pretty much. It was so there was a short movie, and then Canal Plus um, paid me for the adaptation and for the whole season. And then yeah, uh, when Apple uh, made the deal, I, get, I I got paid. But I had to re renegotiate uh, um, the percentage because it was re very low. But Canal Plus. Uh, authorized me to uh, to uh, try to to reconnect re okay renegotiate uh, yeah so yes not gonna ask how much was that <laughs> like a question yeah we'll start with you I'll, I'll see you at I, I see. Yeah, that's going to be a So my question requires a bit more, more of a reflection, but my question basically is, what is something you found out later in the career you wish you knew when you were starting out? What well, if some of can you repeat, please? Something you found out later in the career you wish you knew when you were starting out? Um... Mm. Uh, that's interesting, yeah. That's a reflection. Uh, a very long career. <laughs> yeah, I'm old. I know. Um, yeah, maybe the, that, 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 that thing of uh, it's okay if, if, if it's not made um, because I maybe I, 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 I too often I just was thinking oh i'm i'm not going to work on that because no, nobody will 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 have interest in, interested in, in in that so like i discouraged myself a lot of time uh, because i i didn't want to to waste my time um but i th what i learned is that ba basically for example calls was the, is the perfect example of that because I had several pro projects um, before calls. I didn't really believe I didn't believe at all that calls would be uh, um, a, a, su a success for me, and so I did it in eight months. And 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 I I, I was sure that other projects were gonna have uh, how to say where work and, uh, and that basically I didn't bet on the right project. So calls to, took me a long time to do because I, I told myself, okay, no one's going to watch that. And um, actually it, it proved me wrong because every other project that I was like, okay, this one is gonna work, didn't work at all. And calls worked. And so maybe that's a good advice that I could have told myself to just, uh, yeah, work on the things that you think no one wants to see <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, and work on the other stuff too, but don't let down uh, this one who you think, where you think just, oh, this is too weird, no one is gonna 
is going to watch that, well, maybe that's the one that is uh, going to change uh, your life. I, it it did for. It was a case for for me. I, I I'm not saying that it's always the case. I had got uh, very lucky, but uh, yeah. If I could told myself something, that would be that. You had a question back there? Yes, I had a question about the calls, and um, maybe it's a general question uh, about film feeling of tension, because your film had a great amount of tension and was very immersive. So my question is, if you, uh, at the stage of editing it, uh, you must have like listened to it all over again many times, if you found yourself uh, not sure like if the tension is still still there, and if you like, you know, well, what's the pressure checkup? You know, if you know what I mean, if you had someone to watch it, or you test screen it with someone, or you like, just still uh, felt the pressure in it. Uh, that's a good question because it was a big issue for the first episode, and actually, I think um, today when I watch it, uh, that the reason is not good. Um, so. I did. Uh, I don't think we 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 did um, a screening or anything like that. I I I think that the tension um, for the, from the first episode because, like I said, we had to create uh, the dialogue between uh, people. Uh, uh, it was interesting because in the, in the first version, uh, I was like, okay, f to create the rhythm. We need the dialogue to be like really like no silences. Like you, you speak, I speak, you speak, I speak, and uh, and it was just horrible to to listen to that because you 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 couldn't process the information. So when we 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 got that, we uh, we just took the time to to leave. Just okay, people are normally. Mm, Thinking about the, their response because before answering them. So for the original, uh, it was really hard because uh, yeah, there was there were no uh, real reason uh, on the shooting, and then there were, there, there there was also the music. Uh, that was a choice. Like, um, do you had music or not? Because it's a fun footage, so it's weird to add to have music, and it's uh, does it does it make uh, the, the audience less or more in, 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 in emerge in, in the story. So we had a big, big talk about that and we decided to, to add music because it allowed us, uh, music was uh, for us, for, for, our, for us, pardon, sorry, for us it was uh, our um, images uh, editing video editing it it was music for us because because of music thanks to music we could um make uh how do you say alternate editing i don't know the, the term of um of of it in english but basically like you follow a story and in in parallel you follow another story and um because in calls the first episode there is like three stories uh, that are um, um, going on at the same time. There is the, the cop. There is a relationship with uh, uh, between Tom and uh, and Sarah, and the relationship between him and Laura. So there was like three um, timelines, and we had to 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 make it happen at the same time. Like, okay, this is happening at the same time. So the music was our guide for the rhythm. And uh, and that helped us because we didn't want it to be okay one block one block one block we wanted to be just um, several stories at the same time. I don't know if that's answering, but it was our our big help for the for the rhythm and uh, the tension to just create the tension and uh, sometimes just the music is just the music alone. And uh, yeah, we, we we played with that. Okay. Any other question? I actually uh, I, I got prepared the question. The, the the gentleman in the back 
asks you about <laughs> possible advice to, to young creators, but uh, I, I guess you, you answered that, that too. Uh, not to be afraid to do something you maybe don't believe that much uh, in. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, because you can believe in an, in an ID, but you can uh, have a great doubt about uh, whether it's going to it's going to be made. Uh, especially um, today, I think it's it's much more harder today to to believe that something is going to 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 just to touch audiences because there is a so much TV shows, show, so much movies, and especially TV shows, it's like crazy. There is like one per second new TV shows in the world. So, so and, and before that, in, in like 10 years ago, it was maybe a little bit more like uh, unique. The TV, sh the TV shows were like, oh wow, a TV show. No, it's like <laughs> too much. So it's really easy to doubt yourself about whether or not uh, it's uh, unique and it's gonna it's gonna interest someone that has thirty uh, files of TV shows on under their desk and how to you know to be the one uh, well. Maybe it's you don't have to ask yourself that in the beginning and in, during the process, because uh, or else you you just uh, give up. Yeah. I think I would. So, so so you cannot be afraid to do something and maybe let some somebody else to decide if it's good or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and even if at the end it, it's not good, it's it's okay because you process. will have learned a lot of things. Okay, Timothy. Thank you. Thank you for your insights you. and good luck not only with Stefan but but or of course uh, the uh, the other upcoming uh, projects. Thanks. Thanks so so much for the invitation. That was Timothy Oshet. Of course, thank you for coming and enjoy the rest of the festival.